everybody, this is Alex Voss, your professor at TV eCourse, and I'm excited to bring a new television series called Kids Math. Kids Math is there to help you and your child learn more about mathematics in a step-by-step, -step, easy way that emphasizes the relationship of numbers, how they are related to each other, and how it's easy to learn numbers and math when you understand the relationship, with an emphasis on doing things with your hands, making grids and charts and graphs to help your kids learn and understand numbers and their relationship to each other. Hello everybody, this is Alex Vosch, your professor from Kids Math. This is class three. It focuses on addition. I'm excited that we're going to go right now and learn all about addition. Well, welcome to class three and let's go over the assignment from class two. And so I ask you to draw a line connecting the like terms. And so in this case, we have addition. Now addition would actually be involved with a sum, right? And then the subtraction would be a difference, right? And multiplication would make a product. And division would be a quotient. So that's the answer to our question we gave you, or the assignment we gave you from the last class. Let's get on into, let's, let's begin class three. Now we're talking about addition. Numbers are added together to find their sum. If we have one plus two, that's going to equal to three. So I go, now here's one finger being held up, here's two. And then if we added 1 plus 2, then we would have 3. Or 1 plus 2 equals 3. Simple addition, right? And sometimes you can count or you can add using your fingers if you have to. But I want you to get so familiar with numbers, you just know them in your mind. Remember, this is very simple, basic for children, right? Okay. You can also, here's an example of using your fingers to add. You can just count on your fingers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Lots of people do that. You should be able to do that in your mind. I want to show you how to make an addition grid. That means that we're going to go here and we're going to put a plus symbol there. And that means this plus that. And then we're going to put numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven, eight, nine, and ten across the top. Same thing down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay? So this is the beginning of our addition grid right here. And so we know 1 plus 1 equals 2. But let me show you a neat trick here. If I get a ruler and I extend between the numbers here and here. Okay. Like right there and right there. Like right here, right here, and right here. So this could be a 3 and a 3. And then we go down here. The next set's going to be a 4, a 4, and a 4. And the next set is going to be a 5 and a 5 and a 5 and a 5. The next set here is going to be a 6 a six, a six, a six, and a six. And do this along with me. This is fun for kids to do. And the next one is a seven, a seven, a seven, a seven, a seven, and a seven. Then we see we're just going we're going the numbers on the top and the bottom and is that putting them together? Eight, 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 eight. eight. Eight, eight. <clears throat> now we're going to do the next one. Nine, 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 
9, 9, 9, and 9. Okay, the next one is going to be 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, and 10. Now I know this looks like it's a little weird, but what I'm trying to do here is set this up where you can understand the relationship of these numbers. These are the numbers you get in a grid when you do an addition. And so, of course, now we go up one more, so the next one's going to be 11, right? 1 more plus 10, 10 added to 1 is going to be 11, 11, I kicked that ruler out of the way now, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, and 11. And then we're going to add that to this one. It's going to be 11 plus 1 is 12. So we're going to do the same thing again. 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. Now if you do this, when you're beginning to learn mathematics, it will help you, it will help you understand the relationship of numbers. 12 plus 1, 13, 13, thir 13, I'm sorry, 13, 13, 13. Okay, now we got 13 plus 1, it's going to be 14, 14. And then we're going to go up one more, 15. 14 plus 1 is 15. And then we're going to go up one more. And I know this may seem real simple, but when you're a child and you're learning this, this will really help you with your understanding of the relationship of numbers. 15 plus 1, 16. And then 16 plus 1 is 17. And then 17 plus 1 is 18. 18 plus 1 is 19, and then 20 down here in the bottom corner. Now what we've just made here is an, an addition table. All right, for instance, I can say 10, here's the plus symbol, 10 plus 10 is 20, right? That's an amazing thing. So here's 10 plus 10 is 20. 10 plus 9 is 19. 8 plus 4 is 12. 7 plus 5 is 12. 7, see I'm looking at, I'm going across, 7, and then 5 is 12. 5 plus 5 is 10. 3 plus 1 is 4. 2 plus 9 is 11. 5 plus 7 is 12. And then 8 plus 9 is 17. And so I can solve any addition problem up to 10 plus 10 using this simple grid. And what I did was I just realized that all the numbers flow diagonally depending on where they are on this chart. 1 plus 1 makes 2. 2, 2, 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. Look, 3's. 3's all across. 4 plus 1 is 4. Look how the 4's all go across. And that is true for this addition table. And so now whenever you need to add these numbers until you learn how to do it without having to use the table, this table will allow you to add all the numbers between 10 and 10. But from 10 to 10 equals 20. And so this gives you an even better idea of the relationship of these simple numbers. And so this is an addition table or an addition grid. And the addition grid goes on in, into infinity. You can make these numbers as far out as you want and these numbers as far out as you want and it will still follow the rules of the grid. Okay, so here's, here's an example of an addition grid I did on the computer. It's the same grid. And so if I had to and I didn't have a calculator, then I could actually 
use this grid to find my answers to my numbers. Of course, you should be able to do all this in your mind. But when you're starting out and you're learning the basics as a child, you need to learn the relationship of these numbers. And that's why we're taking the time to go over the details of these relationships by drawing out a grid so you understand these relationships. And so now that we have our grid made, let's go ahead and let's look at these problems. I'm going to give you an assignment. And these, the assignment is going to be using your grid to solve these uh, addition questions here. I want you to solve for 8 plus 9 and 3 plus 10 and 7 plus 7 and 6 plus 9 and 5 plus 5 and 8 plus 2 and 10 plus 10 using your addition grid. That will be a good thing for you to practice on your addition grid and also to help you understand the relationship of these simple numbers. And so this is an assignment. I'm going to give you the answers to this when we come back in our class that's following this one. Okay?